Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over how to install a quad lock on your Ninja 1000 SX or pretty much any Kawasaki that has the hex steering head bolt. And the way we're going to do that is with the fork stem mount pro. This is a new stem mount released by quad lock. Now this is instead of the traditional fork stem mount, which is round. This is much cheaper. I actually, I think it right now, this is $50 where the pro mount is $80, but this has issues being installed on your uh, ninjas with the hex steering head bolt and the lip that's inside of it. It is possible. I will go over that at the end of the video. You can check the chapter sections below to skip right to it. If you want, I'm not going to go over the full detailed how to, because I'm not using this anymore. But that being said, this will be the install of the Fort Stem Mount Pro. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so inside the box, by the way, if you're looking at it, there's a pull tab, which neatly just rip the box open. So doesn't matter. Just uh, get the box open however you have to. Okay, so inside you will find a hex key, bolt, the stem mount with small clamps. There will be uh, big clamps in here. We won't need those. And your quad lock mount which I'm not going to need that because I will be installing other accessories. So we're going to go ahead and go to the motorcycle and put this on. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is detach this just by unbolting this. And that's so it's easier for us to install. Be careful when you pull this out, there are little rubber O-rings in here. What you want to do is just, you're going to end up lining it up and you'll have to probably push the little clamps in so that it drops right down. And use a little and it'll pop in. Now it didn't exactly straight but with the hex opening there's not much you're going to be able to do about that then you're going to tighten the center bolt make sure it's good and snug and that's all there is to it Okay, now that we've got it in, we're going to install this piece. Remember, it's got the O-rings on it, so don't lose them. Just slide it in. There's a little nut insert in here on this side that might want to fall out. So just make sure it's in all the way. Slide it down. Stick the bolt in. Line it up. Tighten it down. There you go. Now, once you have it tightened down, give it some torque. Make sure it doesn't move. If you're installing this directly, now you'll go ahead and install that. Remove the tab, put the bolt on. But I do recommend putting vibration dampener on here. If you don't, your phone cameras can get ruined, iPhones especially. No matter what, do not run your camera, even with the vibration dampener, because your camera has image stabilization and it's going to continue trying to stabilize a vibrating phone and that's going to ruin the image stabilization. So don't do that. But now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and install my vibration dampener and my wireless charging head. Okay, so this is your vibration dampener. 
It's got a bolt inside. You'll just line it up into the teeth. Stick your Allen key through the hole and tighten it down. And then this thing counteracts the vibrations of your motorcycle. I tighten up this because it's moving around. Now, if you're not putting a wireless charging head, now would be the time you would put this on. But since I'm doing wireless charging head, now the wireless charging head has this nickel plate plated bolt. I'm going to change it out with the extra black bolt that came with the pro mount just because of looks. Passing it down. Then if you take your phone, pops right off. Then go ahead and twist your phone. That's going to give you more torque to make sure everything's secure. And if it's all good, then that's all there is to it. So I'm going to show you why this works better. So if we go up through the stem mount, you will see things that have expanded out evenly and they're not sprawled out. Where on the other stem mount, they expand, they butterfly out. And uh, what happens is it, you can install it that way. You have to use some WD-40 to get the uh, round fitting to fit through the hexagonal hole and once it's in it needs to work but the problem is uh eventually like the o-rings give away and eventually it twists loose this one not only fits in better but it actually secures a lot more reliably now i am just installing this i will know more in time if you want to save yourself 80 bucks for now and just wait i'll let you know if i run into any problem if you want to install the original stem mount, not the Pro, securely. So like I said, you could use WD-40 to get it in there. It's going to fan out. Uh, it, it probably isn't going to last. Mine ended up breaking one of the O-rings and it, it just started moving, wiggling around. Never lost the phone, but it's not going to be a secure mount. If you want to securely mount it, you're going to want to take the big bites and your nut and what I did was I actually glued them together super glue just little dabs and you're going to feed them up from the bottom of your stem tube with a hose or something anything to lift it up there and try and align it in the middle and then you'll run the bolt down hopefully hit it without breaking the glue loose and losing the nut and get it threaded in it is a painstaking process, but it is doable. I did do it. But the problem with that is when you need, every time you need to do something with your steering head bolt and take it off, you're going to be redoing the same process over and over. So I do recommend going with the Pro Mount. But again, like I said, I, ha I just now, right in front of you, installed this. We will see how this holds up. Because even though I got the other one to work, we're butterflied out after... I don't know, maybe a hundred times I put my phone on and off. It finally broke the O-ring and just when I went to put my phone on, it just completely twisted. So I'll let you know, but right now this is the best option. And I am going to tell you right now. So we have a lipped, we have a lipped steering head bolt and the manual even says do not install. Okay. So. What are your other options? If you still want quad lock, how do you get it on? Uh, handlebar mount. If you can manage to find room, there's one little spot on each side of your handlebars. That might work. You can get an actual ball that goes down to this opening, sort of like uh, the ram mount balls. And then you get an adapter which clip clamps onto it and then uh you can use the rest of the quad lock stuff none of them are perfect solutions so this is the route i'm going right now 
Like I said, this is this is not a review. This is just an how to install with the pro mount. I cannot honestly say if this is going to work a long time. Okay. I don't want you thinking, oh, Blue, you re you recommended it, but it didn't work. It failed. No, no. I'm I'm saying if you're going to go with the mount, get the pro mount. But I am not saying whether it's going to last or not. Time will tell. With that being said, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this video wasn't exactly what you were looking for. But I try to be honest with you guys and let you know that this may not work. We will see. But it's on there good. It's not turning. So time will tell. But otherwise, ride safe and keep the rubber side down. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer everyone's questions as soon as possible. If there's anything you'd like to see, any tips, tricks, techniques, anything at all motorcycle related, please let me know. I do these videos for you, so anything that you would like to see, I am more than happy to do it. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell to notify you whenever a new video drops. Thank you again. Ride safe and keep the rubber side down.